Hi again, and welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about prepping the part for manufacturing. In the previous video, we got the machine tooled up and ready to program, right? But now we have to get our part ready, and here's how that's going to look. First, I'm going to open up the part that we're going to be machining. Uh, this is a dink little part I made here. I'm just calling it shaft. You can see it's got a bunch of different types of features on it that allow us to showcase some of the simplicities of driving a machine like this Akuma LU3000. Okay, now, first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna send this into what we call a machine part setup document. This is unique to Top Solid. In a machine part setup document, or MPS for short, this is where you get to tell Top Solid what the stock condition is, what the material is, everything. It's an intermediate document between the design world and the manufacturing world. For example, here right now, I can choose from a block stock, a cylindrical stock, it could be a forge, a forging or casting some kind of custom shaped stock. Uh, we can build the casting for you automatically with a constant offset as an STL model. It's up to you. In this case, we're going to choose a simple cylinder. And what I'm going to do is on this side, I'm going to say I want to hold it by an extra inch of material. Over here, I'm going to say I'm going to have an eighth inch of material. And then on the diameter, I'm going to say that I have a sixteenth of material. This is what we're going to turn this out of. I click OK. Validate that. And now my machine part setup document is ready to go. The last step is to put it on the machine, right? So let's do that. I'm gonna go to my shaft op 10. I'm gonna take my machine part setup document and simply drag and drop it to include it. We'll go ahead and green check. And here we're going to add this to the chuck positioning because I want to include it in the positioning of the chuck so that I can close the jaws on it. I'm going to start by selecting the cylinder of my stock to the cylinder of my chuck just to get things aligned the way we want. Maybe I'm going to bump the back of that face right against there. Perfect. And then maybe I'm going to orient that flat face relative to the x-axis. Great. And finally, I'm going to close the jaws. I'm going to say let's take, oh we'll zoom around like this, that face to that diameter. Now the jaws are closed, I can validate my positioning. The last thing you're going to notice is that there's already a G54 at the center front of the part because that's where I like it by default. And that's it. This part is ready for manufacture. 